Introducing TJ Hooker, the classic 1982 TV series that delivers a punch with its action-packed drama. Starring the charismatic William Shatner, the show follows Sergeant Hooker as he navigates the gritty streets of L.A. in pursuit of justice. As you dive into the episodes, you'll encounter a diverse cast of characters, each bringing their own flavor to the series. From rookies to seasoned officers, everyone plays a crucial role in the crime-fighting narrative. Who resonated with you the most? Who stole the spotlight in your eyes? But here's the twist buckle up, because there are funny, shocking, and even heart-wrenching facts about this series that you won't want to miss. So, keep those eyes glued to the screen. Now, back to the burning question, who's your favorite among the memorable roles in this gripping saga? We're not just here to talk about the show, we want to hear from you. What's your most cherished memory or personal experience related to the series? Share your stories and thoughts in the comments below. Your perspective adds a unique layer to the TJ Hooker legacy. Get ready for a roller coaster of emotions as you delve into the world of this classic. Your favorite character, the shocking revelations, it's all part of the journey. Don't forget to let us in on your moments in the comments. And now, get ready for the ride of a lifetime because the drama is just getting started. More surprises await. Share your thoughts and keep those memories coming. T.J. Hooker, the 1982 TV series featuring William Shatner, left an indelible mark on popular culture during its time. The show, with its action-packed drama, drew audiences into the gritty streets of L, alongside Sergeant Hooker. The diverse cast, from rookies to seasoned officers, added a vibrant layer to the crime-fighting narrative. The impact on popular culture was profound. Viewers were captivated by the gripping saga, making it a cultural phenomenon. The charismatic William Shatner's portrayal of the sergeant resonated with audiences, and the series became a household name. The character dynamics, coupled with the intense storyline, left an enduring impression on those who tuned in. Beyond its initial reception, the show's legacy extended into spin-offs, merchandise, and adaptations. Its popularity gave rise to products that allowed fans to carry a piece of the series with them. Spin-offs explore different facets of the Hooker universe, further immersing enthusiasts in the captivating world of crime and justice. The impact was not confined to its original run. Its influence persisted through subsequent adaptations, demonstrating its lasting relevance in the realm of television. The series served as a testament to the power of compelling storytelling and well-drawn characters. In the annals of television history, its contribution to the landscape is unmistakable. The narrative complexity and character dynamics etched a memorable experience for viewers, and the show's enduring popularity is evident in the continued interest and admiration it receives. As fans reflect on their cherished memories and personal experiences related to the series, it becomes clear that T.J. Hooker occupies a special place in the hearts of many. The drama, the characters, and the unexpected twists all contribute to the multifaceted legacy that the show has left behind. In the realm of the 1982 TV series featuring William Shatner, T.J. Hooker, a distinctive aspect emerged regarding the cast's heights. Standing at 5 foot 9 inches, Shatner dictated that regulars matched or fell shorter than him. Taller guest stars underwent strategic filming to divert attention from Shatner's actual height. When Hooker and Romano engaged in pursuits or high-speed driving, viewers often witnessed smoke billowing from their 1977 Dodge Monaco's tailpipe. This aging patrol car, over five years old at the show's 1982 debut, emitted smoke due to oil burning from high mileage. Notably, Lucy and Apt had transitioned to newer models such as Dodge Diplomat Plymouth Grand Fury, Ford Crown Victoria, or Chevrolet Caprice. Unit numbers played a crucial role in the series. Hooker and Romano were 4 Adam 30, while Corrigan and Sheridan operated as 4 Adam 16. The four signified Hollenbeck Police Station, located at 2111 East 1st Street, 90033. The LAPD's extensive station list and unit types, as detailed in Adam 1 Log, 1 exactly 100 yards, provided insight into the hierarchical structure of the police force. The longevity of T.J. Hooker's patrol car, coupled with meticulous attention to unit details, added a layer of authenticity to the show's portrayal of law enforcement. These behind-the-scenes facts contribute to the series' unique charm, offering viewers a glimpse into the meticulous production decisions that shaped the gritty narrative. 
Premiering shortly after the completion of filming for Star Trek II The Wrath of Khan, the series unfolded its first season while the movie was in post-production. Notably, it continued its run between the first and second seasons of Star Trek II, with the entire first season airing during the film's post-production phase. The show witnessed significant cast changes such as Stacey Sheridan's departure and Officer Jim Corrigan's introduction. James Darren, who portrayed a different character earlier, marked his first appearance as Corrigan. Lieutenant Pete O'Brien's debut in The Lipstick Killer also revealed the circumstances leading to his paraplegia. Captain Sheridan made his final appearance in Anatomy of a Killing. Meanwhile, Fran Hooker relocated to Oregon, a detail shared by their daughter in The Ransom. When ABC ceased the series in 1985, CBS picked it up for its late-night schedule, broadcasting first-run episodes for the 1985-86 season. Despite official production cessation in the spring of 1986, CBS continued airing reruns in its late-night slot until September 1987, coinciding with the debut of Star Trek The Next Generation. In summary, the series debuted amid the post-production of Star Trek II The Wrath of Khan, underwent cast changes, and found a second life on CBS after cancellation. The journey reflects a distinctive chapter in television history, showcasing the intersection of a classic police drama with the sci-fi universe. In the gritty streets of L.A. T.J. Hooker, the 1982 TV series featuring William Shatner unveils intriguing behind-the-scenes details that add a layer of authenticity to its crime-fighting narrative. Episodes featuring Romano and Hooker in the patrol car notably skipped the seat belt visuals, an oversight that didn't escape keen-eyed viewers. Interestingly, Richard Hurd, despite appearances, is younger than William Shatner. Throughout the series, Shatner's character, Sergeant Hooker, engages in short-lived romances with girlfriends usually 19 to over 25 years his junior. Notably, Lee Bryant and Lee Christian, who played his ex-wife Fran, were about 14 years younger than Shatner. In a reflection of real life, Shatner's subsequent marriages follow with a pattern of progressively younger spouses. Adding to the show's distinctive charm, the aging 1977 Dodge Monaco patrol car, emitting smoke during high-speed pursuits, stood in stark contrast to LAPD's transition to newer models. Unit numbers like 4 Adam 30 for Hooker and Romano showcased meticulous attention to detail, grounding the series in the reality of police operations. Premiering after Star Trek II The Wrath of Khan, the series navigated cast changes, introducing characters like Officer Jim Corrigan. CBS rescued the show for its late-night slot after AB's cancellation in 1985, extending its run until September 1987. T.J. Hooker's journey, intertwined with post-production Star Trek, cast shifts, and network changes, marks a distinctive chapter in television history, blending police drama with the enduring allure of the sci-fi universe. In the expansive universe of the 1982 TV series T.J. Hooker, connections to the iconic Star Trek franchise are notably woven into the fabric of the show. A multitude of actors, including Vic Tabak, Gary Graham, Ike Eisenman, Leonard Nimoy, Percy Rodriguez, Mark Alemo, Ray Wise, Miguel Furr, Gary Lockwood, Jonathan Goldsmith, Marcy Lafferty, Robert Hooks, Robert O'Reilly, James Darren, and Richard Hurd made appearances in various Star Trek iterations. The intertwining of these two television worlds adds an interesting layer to the show's legacy. Interestingly, the characters often avoid the use of sunglasses, with Anne Perry being a rare exception in episodes like Blind Justice, Bigfoot, and Psychic Terror. Even then, the uniqueness of this occurrence is heightened by the fact that, in two of these episodes, the character wearing sunglasses is visually impaired. Delving into the roots of the series, the name Hooker pays homage to Civil War Union General Joseph Hooker. This subtle historical reference adds a touch of depth to the character's identity and serves as a nod to the past within the gritty narrative. In a departure from the norm, the show showcases a distinct lack of sunglasses throughout its episodes, except for specific instances where the narrative justifies it. This intentional choice contributes to its commitment to authenticity and realism. These nuanced details, from Star Trek connections to character choices, enrich the viewer's experience, making it a show that transcends its surface narrative and becomes a fascinating intersection of television history. The absence of sunglasses becomes a notable element in the visual storytelling, offering a departure from the conventional portrayal of law enforcement. As the series unfolds, viewers are treated to not only gripping crime-fighting narratives, 
but also subtle nods to history and deliberate choices that shape the characters' identities. T.J. Hooker, with its amalgamation of influences and attention to detail, stands as a unique piece of television history.